If you are a user experience designer or a UI designer, you might be using some of the Google Chrome extensions. So today I'm going to share with you some of the very useful Google Chrome extensions for UI UX designers. And let's get started and see some of those and what how they can help you uh, in your design workflow. So um, this is my website. So you can see here is list of some of the um, plugins or extensions for Google Chrome. So the first one is Colorzilla. I have talked about it before. You can pick up any color. Uh, just you can just click. For example, I can click over here, and this color code has been copied, and I can copy this one. Second one is Fireshot. I use it a lot. Fireshot. Uh, you can capture the entire page, the visible part, your capture selection. So I can just um, grab this selection over here like this, um, like this and just leave it. And now you can see my image has been prepared. You can also save it as a PDF and you can save as an image and you can drop it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it. So this is a really nice one fire shot. It is also available for uh, Firefox too. So if you want to download that, let's leave this one. This is vidIQ for my YouTube channel. Anyhow. So next one is font identify by what fonts, what font is, what font is, was a very old plugin for Adobe XD and also their website was had a tool to identify typefaces. So if you click over here, uh, this is what it looks like. So if you uh, let's move it over here somewhere like this. And if you move on top of this, you can see the information changes on the right. So what font is is showing me. Um, you can also click on get click to see, get similar fonts. So this one is actually Minion Pro I'm using and this one is Draft D. So it, it is showing me where I have used which font or typeface. So this is just to identify typeface. And uh, then we have this color and font extractor. This is a really nice one. So if you click over here, so you can see it has grabbed all the colors that has been used on my website and you can copy as CSS variables and you can paste it over here like this. So you can see it is copying actually RGB palette, RGBA, some of them are RGBA, most of them others are RGB. Also it copied Draft D, Draft D, C bold, Minion Pro, my typefaces. So this is another one which can copy all the variables. Also it, it is going to show me all the typefaces used. I'm not sure about this Themify, but uh, others I have used Draft D, Draft C and Minion Pro. These are the three typefaces I'm using over here. Then we have another one uh, which is very, very um, nice responsive viewer. So if you click over here, uh, if you want to test your websites or your designs into multiple screens at once, uh, you can just uh, open up any website and it is going to open all those websites into different screens to show you what is happening. So there was a problem happening with my website. So now I have opened up uh, Skillshare. So let's test the responsive view again. And you can see it is showing me right now two views, uh, iPhone XR, iPhone XS X. Let's switch to mobile. Um, Let's see if we can add more screens over here. I think they are down below. Uh, S S9 note. So these are this is the view for different. Uh, you can also add over here like iPhone 8, 7, 6 if you want to test. So let's see if I want to test this on a smaller screen. 8, 6, 7, 6 up to 6. So it is going to look like this. So this is a very, very nice uh, extension for Google Chrome to test your, you can test it on tablet too. So let's see if we have some tablet screens over here. iPad, let's add iPad over here. So here we have iPad. 
also on desktop you can add for example like this laptop and uh, so you can see this is how it is going to show uh, you can also zoom in zoom out zoom to fit uh, and zoom 100% okay so this is another one and let's uh, go back to actual my view profile and here is my profile let's get back to my profile again and now we are going to test one more thing which is inspector so I really like this one. So whenever you hover on any object, it is going to show uh, the padding around it, the border around it, uh, what is the CSS that has been used. Uh, you can see over here, like you can see it shows GT Walsh, Walshium Pro as a font uh, and it says uh, 15 pixels and 20 pixels. And the color is also, it shows the color value so this is a really nice one so you can see i can hover on anything it is adding to font size for typeface used colors everything so it is going to show me and you can see this is actually um, top bottom margin uh, 10 pixels which is showing in cream color or peach color here we have it again so this way you can really see how the designers or developers are using margins or uh, paddings around their elements so this is a nice one so it is called inspector let's disable it and now let's check the wcag color contrast checker which is one of my favorites so you can see here we have um, the whole website testing uh, all the different areas like h5 span td div a6 h6 uh, very nice i think two elements they have very low uh, level of contrast and let's click over here and it it actually highlights it on the page so let's see if it can highlight in red okay so this one i think this one It might be my image over here okay so this one I think this has been highlighted uh, I think it's an image so it will pass so this is a really nice one if you want to see which of your colors are actually passing the contrast test for your website or accessibility test then my favorite is this fonts ninja so once you click over here let's close this one and it is going to show me the typeface used on this website so this is just this website is using just this typeface and you can see whenever i hover on any of the text it shows bold 26 pixel 32 pixel is the line height zero pixel is the letter spacing and also the color i really really love this type uh, really really love this extension fonts ninja is one of my favorite i think uh, from all these loom if you haven't used it you can use to record your screens freely and you can show it uh, to your um, i think right now my camera is also uh, being used so skip for now um, anyhow so you can record your screens and share you the links to other users one more is unstack style uh, this actually shows all the colors that had been used on this website uh, this is called unstack style guide i i also really like this you can see all the colors text colors heading one heading two heading three is missing heading four heading five heading six body so it is showing me almost the major style details of any website so this is my list of all different um, tools you can use in your daily routine for your UI UX design workflow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video with others. I will keep on making more videos, such videos. Till then, take care and bye bye.